almost want to congratulate Eric. Um, Eric and his wife, Alicia, are dear friends of ours. Um, I love those guys. Happy for them. Um, they had an historic year, obviously. You can argue for a lot of reasons, uh, maybe the best year in Summit League midco Mid-Continent history. So congrats to them. I wish them nothing but the best moving forward. Um, I mean, it's obviously pretty evident that you see the emotion on all of us four here. Um, and and I, I wasn't going to do this last press conference without the three of these young men. Um, it's hard because it mattered. It's really hard because it mattered. And the whole goal of our program is to become the best version of yourselves by serving others. And uh, these, these three young men, individually in their own right, but more importantly, collectively, have simply raised the standard of Bison basketball to an all-time high. They've left a legacy. Rocky Cruiser is the epitome of what a Bison basketball player should be about. Tyree E is the most influential young man that I've had the opportunity to coach. And what he did for us in the Walk With Us campaign and, and I've done just a terrible job of talking about Tyree Eady, the player, and the versatility, and who he is to us. Um, and the young man to my right is, you know, I got four daughters and I got a son, all of these guys. Sam Greasel and I, like some of the conversations, you're not supposed to have the conversations that we have. So this is hard, but it's okay that it's hard because it's, it's supposed to be hard when you pour this much into it. And um, this program, myself, our family is forever indebted to these three young men. I'll take questions. Go ahead with questions for the student athletes. Yep. Nick Cousin, KBRR, for the three of you guys, just how, how would you kind of sum up your career right now? Um, the past four years have been um, everything and more that I could have dreamt of. Uh, it's been the most fun four years of my life. Um, and a lot of that has to do with the, the man to my left and the two guys to my right. Uh, you know, throughout my four years, played a lot of basketball games with these two guys. Um, anytime I look to my left and I see Tyree Eady and, and look to my right and see Rocky Cruiser, I always loved our chances. Um, and. Like I said, it was just, it's, it's been a dream come true. And um, just, I don't know, I'm kind of speechless. It's just been a really fun ride. Kind of same thing as Sam. Everything I envisioned coming here, I love everyone on the team. I love every, all my past teammates. I love Sam, Rocky. I love Coach with all my heart. You know, I've met friends I'm going to have for the rest of my life and bonds I'm going to cherish the rest of my life. And I wouldn't go back and change anything if I had to go back five years. It's been the best five years of my life. Um, building the relationships with coaches and teammates um, has easily been the best part about playing college basketball here at NDSU. Um, and I'm just thankful for the experience. This question comes from Tim Hill of the Reaching the Summit podcast via Zoom. This is for Sam. In a rock fight type game, you're leading the charge, scoring and defending. But what do you tell your guys in those tense moments as a leader of the team? Um, I just, I think. Staying confident and staying poised, um, and you know that's that's one thing that in the first half I didn't I didn't lead by example at all um, in that aspect. Um, but yeah, just you know, obviously the environment was was pretty crazy and um, a lot of fun, but um, just trying to keep us poised. Taylor Budge, WDUI Sports. Rocky, this one for you. How frustrating is it in a game like this when the shots just aren't falling for you, especially in the first half? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a little bit frustrating, um, but that's where, you know, you got to um, grow and, and move on to the next play and try to affect the game in other ways, you know, on the defensive end, try to get stops for your team, try to get other guys involved. Um, just didn't do a good enough job tonight. Ross Huglin, Bison Report. Tyree, you guys did an excellent job defensively on Baylor. What were their guys that, that weren't Baylor able to do uh, tonight that, that gave you guys some trouble? I mean, there's made plays in the game. I know Zeke Mayo. 
the freshman. He's going to be a really good player in this league. He made a lot of big plays late. Charlie Easley is a warrior. He made a lot of big shots late too. But, you know, I think we just came out the first half a little flat. All of us, some the leaders, kind of come out there and uh, play harder. But um, they're a great team. All, you know, congratulations to them. And we didn't come out and play our game for the first half. I think that really hurt us in the end. Mike McFeely from the forum. Uh, Rocky, just a comment on Doug Wilson. He's just such a such a tough guy in the low post and, and getting after those offensive rebounds. Just what's it like to try to defend that? Yeah, you know, last night I um, was playing against um, Elijah Lufile, who's just a bigger body. Um, and, you know, Doug Wilson is, is extremely athletic. Um, but what people don't understand is he's also a very physical kid. Um, so he has the combination of, of speed and agility with all that physicality. Um, he's a great player. Sam, this one for you. You guys only led once in this game, but it came from your shot. Did it kind of give you a little bit of confidence that, hey, we can take the lead and maybe do something here? Or what was it just like knowing that you guys only had one lead during this game, but it was a close battle throughout? Yeah, I mean, like I said, when I look to my left and I see Tyree Eady and look to my right and see Rocky Cruiser, I love our chances in any game, any situation. Um, and that's always stayed consistent, especially throughout this year. Um, I think we saw, in, in especially some conference games, we were down a lot even in the second half, and, and we were able to, to come back and, and pull, out the, pull out the W, but you know tonight we just weren't able to do that. Sam, just a comment. I know Tyree touched on it some, but it, it just seemed like every time you guys got close or even when you got ahead, they just always had an answer, um, whether it was Doug, whether it was Charlie, just somebody always kind of stepped up. Is that, I mean, is that what makes them so tough, is that they just have you know, so yeah. many places to go? Or, or yeah, I mean, um, it's a really talented team. Um, at some point, kind of with some of the shots they hit, just tip your cap. Um, and obviously, we can execute um, a little bit better, but you know, just props to them. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right, thanks, fellas. You can head back Thank to the Thank you, guys. Go ahead with questions for Coach. Hey, Coach, what's the first thing that you told those three uh, in the locker room after the game? Um, I love them. Thank you. I mean, it's uh, countless adjectives of thankfulness and love. Sam touched on it. You've been in situations like this where you were close and you came back and won. Was there no doubt that this was going to happen again, that you guys would come back and take the lead? I mean, uh, that's how your mentality has to be, you know. And, and I thought we were there um, right to the very end. And um, they made some they made some big plays. Uh, I mean, we hold the fourth leading field goal percentage team in the country to under 44 percent. We're in a great environment like this, and, and we gave ourselves our guys battled. Our guys really battled. And um, unfortunately, a couple breaks here or there didn't go our way. I'll ask you about Doug Wilson too, yeah. Dave. I mean, he just just a machine around the back. He's just he's just dynamic, Mike. I mean, that's the word that comes up. I mean, he's so explosive. Um, he's he's quick with the bounce. He's quick on the second um, bounce off of you know he jumps twice before you've jumped once sometimes. And Rocky spot on. I mean, not only is he athletic, he's physical, he's strong. Uh, that's a very talented young man that uh, you can just see. Oh man, I don't know. Probably a little bit like us that in the quarters, you know, they were finding their way. And, and that young man was pretty juiced up last night and again tonight. You hold Shireman pretty well in check, and he hit the big one at the end. Mm -hmm. But then Easley is the guy that yeah. hits, I think he hit three big three pointers. And again, it goes back to that just you can only guard so many guys, apparently. I yeah, I mean, you're playing a good team. Uh, you, you're playing a really good team. And, and any mistake, um, any decision that you make that, you know, they have a counter for, they make you pay for it. And uh, even when they probably didn't have their best night offensively, you know, when it mattered, um, they made big shots, e uh, Shireman easily, and then they made their free throws. Coach, it, it certainly hasn't been anything you've done in the past. Any thoughts about any other postseason play beyond this? You know, there's a, not, probably not with this group, Ross. I mean, um, there's a standard and expectation of NCAA tournaments. And, and um, with a veteran group like this, 
um, you know, I don't know, fill out the paperwork for the NIT. I think that's highly doubtful. But uh, we'd certainly um, hop on that board. But uh, that'll be it. Uh, last co last question over here. This question comes from Tim Hill, the Reaching and Summit podcast via Zoom. Neither team deserved to miss out this at this year's tournament. Do you think a night like this shows this league should be considered a multi-bid league? Well, yeah, I mean, you, you play a bunch of situations and scenarios in your head um, as a head coach, and if we would have been fortunate enough to win, you know, I mean, what South Dakota State did this year, uh, you know, I think it's – or Roberts made a run last year, and, and you saw two really good teams go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It was very good basketball. It was very good coaches. It's a very competitive league. I, I love it. I love to be challenged. I love to grow outside of my comfort zone, and that's what this league provides. Thanks, Dave.